so once a student's preference is met the that moment student is moved out of the process a longevity of the student's career also is equally important it's the placement just doesn't end at getting somebody a job they need to also do well in that and eventually they also need to succeed and carry on for a reasonable period of time almost 70% of the class has got a ctc of more than 20 lakhs I I work as a manager in the industry partnership and career services team here at Bitstorm which is basically the placement team So uh, I'm Sapan Savant I am a senior manager uh, at industry partnership and career services at Bitstorm I'm part of I'm a senior manager here and what I look after is business development so my care is to reach out to more and more companies and uh, we speak to them about bitsom and the whole point is that they come here and recruit so i'm from the ipcs team i manage the entire process part of the students i mean you know scheduling the process you know handling the clients when they come to campus uh, i lead the industry partnerships and career services team at bitsom and i'm largely responsible for the summer internships uh, life projects and the final placements uh, for the students so basically the first thing that we do is try to have a connect uh, with the hrs the campus hrs that are there so uh, what we look at is we look at the companies that have been visiting other campuses and then try to shortlist those companies and see to it that those companies come to our campus as well the first batch that we had wherein we had to explain what is bitsom and why we are a tier 1 school and uh, compare while we did not have history a lot of companies have this criteria that you should be in industry you should have a consistent five batches uh, passing out from this is and what is a certain criteria is that they have stage 1 is uh, if it is absolute they are not open to the idea of hiring right away we start with engagements uh, we invite their senior leaders to campus when they speak with the students is i think and when they look at the campus when they meet senior professors meet dean on campus that is what re that really helps them to get that perspective about b school which they otherwise i am sure in a simple pitch they would so once we start engaging in those terms we have we uh, we have students have engaged with companies uh, by taking the live projects so again that becomes where the experience quality of the students the output that uh, the students perform and then organically uh, uh, you know the placements come into picture and then again one more factor we encourage students to attend those uh, competitions So as you are aware uh, Bitsom in a sense we have differentiated ourselves in terms of the intake you know it's as far as the admissions process is concerned it's a little different we are not test centric in a way while we take in GRE GMAT and CAT as the three scores we also follow it up with an admissions interview and that ensures that we look at the individual in a holistic manner so as far as the students once the students are in we actually evaluate and have a look at what is the kind of crop that we have and we share this data with uh, corporates with recruiters and what has happened is uh, given the fact that it's a professional uh, career services team that we have uh, definitely we have enough and more experience uh, from the industry from different b schools that we have come from and that definitely aids in terms of which are the potential recruiters prospective recruiters uh, that could come about and evaluate and hire students from the particular cohort one other thing that we have done differently is we follow the miller hyman model of uh, you know sales that's a scientifically proven uh, model and uh, what it does is uh, you know we look at different stakeholders within the organization so we are not only relying on the campus leads or the hr per se we also speak to businesses and create opportunities for the students basis their profile so you know it's a win win for both students are also able to get newer opportunities and uh, recruiters are also able to get the required talent for certain specific roles that might be upcoming when the shortlisting comes that time we have to you know plan the scheduling as for taking the students preference so that is the most crazy part because till the time the shortlisting doesn't come 
we can't even start preparing the scheduling as per student's preference obviously so once a student's preference is met the that moment student is moved out of the process so we have a one offer policy once that preference is met he is he or she is out of the process so they don't sit for the rest of the rounds of with the other companies so there won't be any there is no upper cap with respect to number of interviews a student will take till he or she gets whatever their preference is they will be given opportunities to sit for it and what is also important is the fact that you know even if a company is positioning itself or its role in a certain manner we need to also look at the longevity for that company also so say for example startups you know in the initial phase when they might have had uh, their funding and when they are you know kind of looking out for talent we also do a due diligence on these companies new age companies to ensure that you know they are well funded a longevity of the student's career also is equally important it's the placements just doesn't end at getting somebody a job they need to also do well in that and eventually they also need to succeed and carry on for a reasonable period of time so i think in terms of preparing of the students and completely aligning students to the opportunity available uh, I feel realistically that's not possible because everything happens over a very short period like say about 1 month or 2 months at the max from pitching and that converting to actually the hiring process happening so I feel the student learning process is a continuously evolving process when we had our final placements for the founding batch of 2023 I do recall few students uh who you know like they had given an interview and multiple times and these students have been uh, achievers of the batch and they've had done really well uh, academically so when these sort of students were losing out on opportunities or unable to convert a particular opportunity it was becoming very visible that you know uh, these they this person is losing uh, confidence uh, so i do remember speaking to one such student Uh, this early this year when our placements were uh, happening for the first batch and i do remember having these conversations with the student where i kind of tried to pull him up and communicate uh, in such a way that you know this is this is a part of life and this is what an mba is right like it's just not about slogging through those two years and getting a job it's also about being um, able to with stand this kind of uh, failures or if i i may say like unable to being be, being able to uh, go through rejections being resilient uh, one of the major differentiators that we have at bitsom is the winning at the workplace courses where we are you know drawing liberally from liberal arts humanities we are teaching life skills so recruiters have come back saying that you know these are some really great uh, things that are being imparted to the students these uh, learnings are being imparted to the students because they are able to hit the ground running and also they are better prepared in terms of they know what they'd like to do what is it that they'd like to explore students are also you know more open to change as a result of this exposure as far as preparation is concerned uh, from the ipcs team the industry partnerships and career services team we keep giving inputs in terms of what are the opportunities what are the you know domains or sectors that are doing well which are the companies that are coming in we try and give them product uh, as a domain or uh, you know uh, uh, an opportunity is definitely sought after by the students uh, fmcg we have done uh, reasonably well year on year uh tech roles are definitely there for the taking so digital transformation you know your roles uh, which have some component of uh, ai uh, data visualization all of those kind of roles would be in demand certainly across sectors so uh, the audited placement report is out and these are all audited numbers because we got the entire placement data audited from a, a rating agency and uh, we were able to uh, generate an average ctc for the batch of 23 and a half lakhs the top 10% was uh, close to 36 lakhs the top 30% was uh, 30 lakhs plus and what was more satisfying was the broad be- broad based distribution of uh, you know the results so in terms of uh, roles and opportunities we had all the top roles which go to the top schools that were you know also at bitsom 
and uh, almost 70 percent of the class has got a CTC of more than 20 lakhs. So it's not that only the top few have got their chosen roles or aspirational roles. It's been a pretty broad based kind of a distribution. So quite happy and satisfied on those counts. I think Perno Ricard would be my, uh, my, the best company that I have converted so far because I think uh, it, I, and again it, it happened last year. It didn't materialize and then this year again I followed up and got it and then they decided to take one student at least start of the relationship. I think last year with uh, Pedilite when we were having our, uh, this year actually the final placements. So when the list came out and you know I, I had announced it, I felt, I mean I think that's true for you also, yeah. like true for the most of the team members that we do feel very immensely for the student, like it's, it, it, we almost feel like we are getting placed you know. So yes, what you say is right, uh, there have been uh, headwinds as far as market conditions are concerned, that's a known uh, aspect. But what we try and do is, as I said, we try and match the skill sets of the students within the cohort to what the industry is looking at. And also given the fact that we have been around for a fair amount of time in this particular domain, uh, the career services team, generally we also have a general idea and sense in terms of which industry is doing well, which are the opportunities that are likely to come up. End result is ultimately a combination of these factors. What are the companies that are coming in? What are the opportunities? As I said, you know, companies are also warming up the fact that they're willing to provide greater opportunities and you know, look at uh, slightly more numbers uh, from the cohort as we go along. And that's how a school gets built over a period of time. Unlike the first year when we had no past records yeah. to show. Uh, but yes, market is still tough. We are still new. College, again, there are a lot of companies who are very, very particular about the criteria of onboarding a new campus from in their regular uh, list of campuses that they visit. So it is still an effort. I think it is going to be a long journey. From yeah, but I think the report has helped, a helped lot, us a lot. also to, you know, to bring out new, you know, uh, adding new, more new portfolios in our, you know, bucket. <laughs>